Deadpool 2, a not-so-suitable for children's book, written by the voice inside Wade Wilson, illustrated by Ross Poole, audio version by the sexy voice of Sexy Thor. Oh hello there, age-appropriate boys and girls. It's your friendly neighborhood pool guy back in another restaurant-quality adventure that is sure to make your bathing suit bits tingle. Last time we were all together, I had anti-heroically 86 that walking diaper stain Francis, gotten my super hot girl Vanessa back, made some great friends along the way, and gave you all erections that lasted more than four hours. Yes, even the guys. Oh, how times have changed. Two years later. Dopender, start the car! I yell. Hopefully this crew of utterly generic henchmen won't be able to follow me home, bust into my apartment guns blazing, and unintentionally kill the only thing that matters to me in this world in order to become the catalyst for the next two dozen pages of this definitely not for children's book. Oops. Spoiler alert. Ah, Vanessa. Let me count the ways I love her. One, two, three, four, all the way to ninety-six which is 69ing back to back. I don't recommend it. Wade, said Vanessa, I want to have a baby. I don't know if I'm the family guy type, said me. Fatherhood is an F word, even I have trouble saying. Get over it, Red, Vanessa said. Okay, let's make a family, I lazily remember saying. Things were going so well until... Remember all of that shit I said on page two about those henchmen? Well, act surprised. I always say, never leave a bad guy alive. Okay, fine. I just said that. But anyway, those economy class assholes followed me to the apartment and just busted in shooting. There's a lot of blood spurts and soiled pants for the next moment or so. Sure, a few get their shots in on me. Bad news for them, I immediately heal. Bad news for me, I'm not the only good guy in the apartment. They just killed Vanessa! You have a few options when you lose the love of your life. What does yours truly do? I begin a try to murder yourself in interesting new ways picture montage. All bad news for me. Killing myself is impossible. Walk in front of a bus? Nope. Walk off a 75 story building? Nope. Binge watch This Is Us with no tissues? Nope. But why Jack? Why didn't you just jump out of a window? This is rock bottom. You can always count on friends to show up when you're at your lowest point. That friend is Colossus, eight feet of twinkly metal Russian with a heart of gold. I can't see you like this, Wade, says Colossus. You need family now. I take you to family of X-Men. I was wrong. This is rock bottom. Unfortunately, Fox couldn't afford to draw any of the X-Men, so just pretend there's a bunch of X-Men here, all giddy as hell to see me. Negasonic is here. She's rocking an 11 from season 2 haircut. So topical. I get to walk Beast around the grounds. Mystique and I join a dance competition and parlay that into a bet against the Cowboys. We get a 5 and the Cowboys lose 2, by the way. Jubilee is here, but has no lines and never uses her powers. Jean Grey won't tell me how a Game of Thrones ends, even if I promise her a date with Ryan Reynolds. I play with Cerebro. Professor X, if you're reading this, I'd give it a good thorough cleaning before using it again. Also, there aren't any new mutants, because that movie's release date moved. Finally! My first X mission! Full-fledged X-Person Wade. Trainee, says Colossus. As I was saying, Wade W. Wilson is called in to save the day! At a charming little orphanage called Essex House for Mutant Rehabilitation. Cue Mr. Sinister reference. A young mutant has gone full carry on a few orderlies and threatens the headmaster. All I am Firefist! exclaims Firefist. Note, I highly suggest you look up Firefist on Urban Dictionary. Trust me. Come on, little man, I can talk you out of this, says me. Oops, well that didn't go as planned. What have you done, Wade? yells Colossus. This may look bad, but that guy really deserved it says me. Turns out that Firefist is getting messed up by these fucksticks. All of the mutants at the orphanage are, but I'm the only one who can see it. You are no X-Men, says Dejected Colossus. Duh. Oh, I also get arrested. So 
so we are in Canada's premier mutant prison, the Icebox. Firefist and I are just minding our own business, making friends, when this moose knuckle shows up. This cybernetic blast from the days of future past is Cable, ni Thanos, and he's angrier than a real housewife of New Jersey and all because of that kid Firefist. I'm just here for the kid, grr, says Cable. Well, I, of course, have a soft spot for cuddly kiwis. So fuzzy. So I'm not just going to stand around and let Cable push around a kid. Seems unfair. Also, wouldn't further the plot. So we fight and both end up conveniently tossed from the prison. Newly free, I decide that I'm not about to let some ex goonie douche eventually kill some innocent kid. So I assemble a super duper team of Domino and some of the deepest catalog X-Men that you can find. We need to get Cable before he gets to the kid. This is X-Force! Isn't that a bit derivative? Asked Domino. Yes. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, in a sequence that would take up too many pictures, all of the X-Force members die except for one lucky lady. And turns out, our little Firefist has made some influential friends on the inside, including this giant lug. I will break you, says Juggernaut. And he does. Now I'm not half the man I used to be. Back at my place, me and my newly sprouting toddler legs come face to face with Cable. Seriously, people find me really easily. The name's Cable. I've come back from the future, says Cable. Firefist will kill the headmaster, and he'll get a taste for the killing. In the future, Firefist is a serial killer. The serial killer that killed my family. I'm gonna stop him before he can do that. Grr. I'll help you, but you have to promise me that I can have the chance to change his mind, I say. So Domino, Cable, and I show up at the orphanage to stop Firefist. You have 30 seconds to convince him, Deadpool, says Cable. After that, I open fire. Grr. Yukio, NCW, and Colossus show up later in this big, epic, emotional, and climactic reveal, but the illustrator hasn't seen the movie yet, uh, early deadlines, so he just drew them in here. You don't have to do this, Fire Fist, I say. I know what it's like to feel like you have nobody. Get out of my way, Wade, yells Fire Fist. Meanwhile, I'm the Colossus, bitch, says Colossus, in my mind. Everyone's favorite Silver Hulk just kicked Juggernaut's ass. Back to storyline A. That's it, Wade, says Cable. I'm taking the shot. Cable fires, and I dive in front, blocking the bullet, because I'm conveniently wearing a mutant power-suppressing collar. Unfortunately for me, I won't heal. You gave your life for me, says Firefist. I know now that I have to be a bad guy. I die. Lots of people cry. It's beautiful. Now I'm in heaven, reunited with Vanessa. Vanessa, we are finally together, I say. Wade, it's not your time, says Vanessa, but I'll wait for you. And I start to feel something pulling me back to life. But before I go, don't fuck Logan, I tell Vanessa. It seems Cable revved up his DeLorean to 88 and went back just in time to block that bullet he shot at me before it tore my heart a new one. I mean, I guess he could have gone back and not shot me, but this is much better for the plot. Anyway, same result. Now I don't die. And we all lived happily ever after as one big happy family. That's an F word that I have no problem saying now. The end.